$3.36 billion cryptocurrencies. In November 2021, law enforcement seized over 50,676 Bitcoin hidden in devices in defendant James Jung's home. Jung has now pled guilty to unlawfully obtaining that Bitcoin from the Silk Road dark web in 2012. Damian Williams, the United States Attorney for the Southern District of New York, and Tyler Hatcher, the special agent in charge of the Internal Revenue Service, Criminal Investigation, Los Angeles Field Office, IRSC, announced today that James Jung pled guilty to committing wire fraud in September 2012 when he unlawfully obtained over 50,000 Bitcoin from the Silk Road dark web internet marketplace. Jung pled guilty on Friday, November 4, 2022, before United States District Judge Paul G. On November 9, 2021, pursuant to a judicially authorized premises search warrant of Jung's Gainesville, Georgia, House, law enforcement seized approximately 50,676.1785187 Bitcoin, then valued at over $3.36 billion. This seizure was then the largest cryptocurrency seizure in the history of the U.S. Department of Justice and today remains the department's second largest financial seizure ever. The government is seeking to forfeit, collectively, approximately 51,680.3247373 Bitcoin. Jung's 80% interest in RE&D Investments, LLC, a Memphis-based company with substantial real estate holdings. $661,900 in cash seized from Jung's home, and various metals also seized from Jung's home. U.S. Attorney Damian Williams said, James Jung committed wire fraud over a decade ago when he stole approximately 50,000 Bitcoin from Silk Road. For almost 10 years, the whereabouts of this massive chunk of missing Bitcoin had ballooned into an over $3.3 billion mystery. Thanks to state-of-the-art cryptocurrency tracing and good old-fashioned police work, law enforcement located and recovered this impressive cache of crime proceeds. This case shows that we won't stop following the money, no matter how expertly hidden, even to a circuit board in the bottom of a popcorn tin. IRSC Special Agent in Charge Tyler Hatcher said, Mr. Jung executed a sophisticated scheme designed to steal Bitcoin from the notorious Silk Road marketplace. Once he was successful in his heist, he attempted to hide his spoils through a series of complex transactions which he hoped would be enhanced as he hid behind the mystery of the Euro darknet. IRSC special agents are the best in the world at following the money through cyberspace or wherever our financial investigations lead us. We will continue to work with our partners at the US Attorney's Office to track down these criminals and bring them to justice. Silk Road was an online, darknet, black market. In operation from approximately 2011 until 2013, Silk Road was used by numerous drug dealers and other unlawful vendors to distribute massive quantities of illegal drugs and other illicit goods and services to many buyers and to launder all funds passing through it. In 2015, following a groundbreaking prosecution by this office, Silk Road's founder Ross Ulbricht was convicted by a unanimous jury and sentenced to life in prison. In September 2012, Jung executed a scheme to defraud Silk Road of its money and property by uh, creating a string of approximately nine Silk Road accounts, the fraud accounts, in a manner designed to conceal his identity. B. Triggering over 140 transactions in rapid succession in order to trick Silk Road's withdrawal processing system into releasing approximately 50,000 Bitcoin from its Bitcoin-based payment system into Jung's accounts. And C transferring this Bitcoin into a variety of separate addresses also under Jung's control, all in a manner designed to prevent detection, conceal his identity and ownership, and obfuscate the Bitcoin source. While executing the September 2012 fraud, Jung did not list any item or service for sale on Silk Road, nor did he buy any item or service on Silk Road. Jung registered the accounts by providing the bare minimum of information required by Silk Road to create the account, the fraud accounts were merely a conduit for Jung to defraud Silk Road of Bitcoin. Jung funded the fraud accounts with an initial deposit of between 200 and 2,000 Bitcoin. After the initial deposit, Jung then quickly executed a series of withdrawals. Through his scheme to defraud, Jung was able to withdraw many times more Bitcoin out of Silk Road than he had deposited in the first instance. 
As an example, on September 19, 2012, Jung deposited 500 Bitcoin into a Silk Road wallet. Less than five seconds after making the initial deposit, Jung executed five withdrawals of 500 Bitcoin in rapid succession, for example, within the same second, resulting in a net gain of 2,000 Bitcoin. As another example, a different fraud account made a single deposit and over 50 Bitcoin withdrawals before the account ceased its activity. Jung moved this Bitcoin out of Silk Road and, in a matter of days, consolidated them into two high-value amounts. Nearly five years after Jung's fraud, in August 2017, solely by virtue of Jung's possession of the 50,000 Bitcoin that he unlawfully obtained from Silk Road, Jung received a matching amount of a related cryptocurrency 50,000 Bitcoin cash, BCH crime proceeds, on top of the 50,000 Bitcoin. In August 2017, in a hard fork coin split, Bitcoin split into two cryptocurrencies, traditional Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash, BCH. When this split occurred, any Bitcoin address that had a Bitcoin balance, as Jung's addresses did, now had the exact same balance on both the Bitcoin blockchain and on the Bitcoin Cash blockchain. As of August 2017, Jung thus possessed 50,000 BCH in addition to the 50,000 Bitcoin that Jung unlawfully obtained from Silk Road. Jung thereafter exchanged through an overseas cryptocurrency exchange all of the BCH crime proceeds for additional Bitcoin, amounting to approximately 3,500 Bitcoin of additional crime proceeds. Collectively, by the last quarter of 2017, Jung thus possessed approximately 53,500 Bitcoin of total crime proceeds, the crime proceeds. On November 9, 2021, pursuant to a judicially authorized premises search warrant, the search IRSC agents recovered approximately 50,491.0625184 Bitcoin of the crime proceeds from Jung's Gainesville, Georgia, house. Specifically, law enforcement located 50,491.0625184 Bitcoin of the approximately 53,500 Bitcoin crime proceeds, a, in an underground floor safe, and, b, on a single board computer that was submerged under blankets in a popcorn tin stored in a bathroom closet. In addition, law enforcement recovered $661,900 in cash, 25 Cassius coins, physical Bitcoin, with an approximate value of 174 Bitcoin, 11.1160053004 additional Bitcoin, and 4 1-ounce silver-colored bars, 3 1-ounce gold-colored bars, 4 10-ounce silver-colored bars, and 1 gold-colored coin. Beginning in or around March 2022, Jung began voluntarily surrendering to the government additional Bitcoin that Jung had access to and had not dissipated. In total, Jung voluntarily surrendered 1,004.1462183 additional Bitcoin. In connection with Jung's guilty plea, on November 4, 2022, Judge Gardiff entered a consent preliminary order of forfeiture as to specific property and substitute assets, money judgment forfeiting Jung's interest in the following property. Jung's 80% interest in RE&D Investments, LLC, a Memphis-based company with substantial real estate holdings, $661,900 in United States currency seized from Jung's home on November 9, 2021. Metal items, consisting of four one-ounce silver-colored bars, three one-ounce gold-colored bars, four ten-ounce silver-colored bars, and one gold-colored coin, all seized from Jung's home on November 9, 2021. 11.1160053004 Bitcoin seized from Jung's home on November 9, 2021. 25 Cassius coins, physical Bitcoin, with an approximate value of 174 Bitcoin, collectively, seized from Jung's home on November 9, 2021, 23.7112850 Bitcoin provided by Jung on April 27, 2022, 115.02532155 Bitcoin provided by Jung on April 28, 2022 and 4.57427222 Bitcoin provided by Jung on June 8, 2022. Subscribe to the CyberWarzone channel for more news, tips, tricks and downloads. Please, use the comment section for any questions, feedback or video requests.